Hi, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, I've been having a bit of a clear out, tidy round, back up, degunk. So I haven't done much building over the past few weeks. And now I've got everything set back up, I thought I'd get back into the routine with a bit of a how to, handy tip video. And one thing that bothered me for quite a while was drilling holes in balsa. Soft splinters. Even when I taped the back and pressed it down against the mat I often still get splinters, rough edges and wasted pieces you know, look rather than judgement and skill in getting it right and I came across a way using nothing but brass tube so, a bit of brass tube uh, make sure it's tube not pipe so it's your outer dimension as pipe is your inner dimension Bit of, bit of balsa in there as is, um, and this is a brilliant way of cutting balsa. So I thought I'd show you. Now this side of the piece I've cut the ends off to make my pieces, and there's two ways I make them. The first way, stick a piece of cork on the end. There, do it by hand. The other way is if it's going in a drill bit, I put some milliput in the end. Just regular run of the mill milliput, two part filler. Yeah, mix it together, stuff it in the end, let it set, and that will prevent your thin walled brass um, denting, creasing, generally not sitting straight in your drill chuck. If, uh, if you're drilling you know, for a whole stack of ribs, or if you just prefer to stick it in your hand drill, uh, this is so simple. Once you've cut it to to length. It don't need to be a precise length, just as it's long enough for what you need. You, at the end of your brass, get a small die of a Dremel, or even a bigger one if you need. And all you do is grind it, give it a few twists. It goes through really quickly, especially if you've got quite a coarse one. Don't go in too deep, otherwise you get a very thin tip, which can bend over quite easy but it gives you a really nice sharp edge so when you let me show you a demonstration it doesn't take much to then twist it doesn't always stick into your piece of brass haven't gone any through do it again there we go, gone right through that time. Just left a tiny little bit in. But that's it. That's all there is to it. I've filed a hole in the side of this so I can push, if I get a piece of ball stuck in, I can push a piece of plastic fruit, pop it out so it doesn't get stuck up. For the short one, glued a piece of cork onto the end of it. For, just for hand use, save you having to dig rough ends into my hand or anything. And at this end of it, if you can see, I have I have cut four small grooves in. Just gives a bit of extra bite. This one, right. no, this one, <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but it doesn't need it. But it's just one more thing to help you cut through the balsa. I mean, that one wasn't perfect but that's because I've cut this one but I haven't properly deburred the outside yet and it's really 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 simple so if you've ever got a piece of bolt yeah you know, got a piece of brass kicking around it's, it's the right size just cut it through you know cut it to length just deburr the end even you stick a file in you don't have to get a you, know, you, don't, have, you don't need a die or anything you, you know, just use a file, uh, make sure it's all nice and smooth afterwards. Dead simple. And this really, really, really made things a lot easier for me. And there you go. Easy as. Adaptable, yeah, any size. If you go to big sizes, bigger than your drill chuck, or too big for a piece of cork, if you got access to a, a lathe, I've seen them made where the brass just sits over the edge of a piece of alley 
any piece of metal and then it's machined down to just a slight there's just a slight end that you know small enough to fit in the drill truck and same's done all drilled on the side but when you get to sort of an inch if you need to get that big you don't need the hole inside you just dig it out with a screwdriver or your scalpel or anything you've got but then anything much bigger than an inch you can just cut and sand but really handy really useful and if you've already got the brass kicking around it's you know, it doesn't cost anything yeah you know, how much is a piece of, you know one strip of brass quid two quid depending on what size you're after but here you go well worth it right. thanks for watching like and subscribe if you like the channel it really help and i'll see you next time